So in being drawn to this image, mm. the Marion Motel, um, I am Motel Marion. Motel Marion. No, 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 <laughs> absolutely the Motel Marion. I am very, um, I'm very interested in this idea that you have a strong childhood memory of what this building was, and it is recently gone from its landscape um, and changing. And so I'm curious why you decided to add this one into the book. Okay, um, well, you let the cat out of the bag on that one, didn't you? <laughs> I did. <laughs> I'll do that. <laughs> so we did talk about some of these images, otherwise Dina wouldn't know that this building was going, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, boop. Um, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I like to point out the obvious. So this building was started in the late 40s right after World War II is, is what I would guesstimate I'm not sure of the exact date so it was its heyday was in the 50s 60s that whole uh, motor court drive-in motel it started as a small piece which in this image I can throw it up on the uh, this captures more of the original part of the building it was added on to in the 60s and it became the place with its restaurant, you know, known for its food, its service. And sadly, by the time that I came along, it had seen its prime. This was owned by one family, uh, one man in particular who built it up. Um, it did sell after that to another family that tried to revive it over the years and Unfortunately, there are just some things timing-wise just aren't the right time. Fashion is a very strong... Yes, and I think if Marion were in a different location, etc., etc., it probably could have had another life as a, you know, renovated, fashionable... B boutique hotel? Yes, uh, but I, it sadly had gone way too far. So, And the property became more valuable for, you know, today's businesses, a convenience store, so... The connection for me is my grandparents' home uh, was on 4th Street. So I'm doing, I'm showing it here because this is about where 4th Street would be is at this end. So going from my, fa my childhood home to my grandparents' home, we drove right past it. Mm. Um, across the street here was the Dairy Queen, original Dairy Queen for the town. Walking from my grandparents' house down the street to the Dairy Queen, mm. you know, and the hotel was right across. So I had, you know, again, a real connection, visceral connection to the building, the structure as it, you know. Plus, it just dominated a huge piece of property, too. So. Absolutely. I, so I noticed there's a piece of art on one of the um, poles on the edge of the painting. <laughs> what is that piece of art? It this. looks like an Illinois. Yes. Uh, <laughs> I'm glad you could tell that. I was going to ask, yes. can you tell that shape that is? Yes. Yeah, that's, um, um, it indicates the, the highway itself is a county state uh, Route 13. Mm. So it's Illinois Route, so it's, it's an indication of that. I think on the other side there's a, a Lincoln, so it's also mm. a, a Lincoln Trail, a oh. Heritage Trail, something like that. Mm -hmm. So, but yeah, that's why. I, that's okay. Fine. Okay. <laughs> Historically accurate. You, well, I try to. I, I, you know, when I do these landmark pieces, I try to in, infuse either signage or cars or people where I can, just simply to, you know, keep it from being too static. So. Yeah. Um, you know, and little pieces like that are, that's the little details I think that are. Absolutely. Know. It, it adds to the nostalgia of it. It does. Mm-hmm.